State of Wyoming, Episode 1, Laramie. Fade in. Interior. Old Executive Office Building, Washington, D.C. Day. American Idler and JFK Jr. lookalike Elliot Vance exit an elevator and arrive at a maze of cubicles where a sign says, Hall of the Fifty States, Chris Applethwaite, Director. Elliot arrives at his cubicle and leans back in the chair, high tops on the desk and hands behind his head. Over the desk is a large map of the state of Wyoming, held up with pushpins. It has been used as a dartboard. Exterior. Old Executive Office Building, Day. Tara Travis, an attractive blonde Elliot's age, enters the building in a conservative but red dress, walking quickly and purposefully in three-inch heels. In her wake, the turning of male heads is a testosterone stadium wave. Back at Elliot's cubicle, Day. Delaware, scrawny and awkward with black-framed Buddy Holly glasses, slides by the cubicle. Hey, Wyoming. Want to go to the dance opener tonight? If your daddy's paying. Elliot's cell phone rings. The ringtone is the first line of the Trog's wild thing, apparently an unremarkable occurrence for both young men. He looks at the caller ID. Gotta take this. Catch up for. Delaware nods and raises a Vulcan split finger salute, then disappears. Interior, Hall of the Fifty States, day. Tara exits the same elevator Elliot did earlier. Up closer, the red dress isn't as conservative as it seemed. There's a hint of cleavage, along with a fair share of it to hint at. Back at Elliot's cubicle, day. Elliot listens on the phone. Nebraska pops his head and muscular neck up over the cubicle's top edge. Psst. Wyoming. Incoming. Not now, Nebraska. Don't say I didn't warn you. Elliot's feet remain on the desk. He speaks into his cell. Yes, I heard you. It's a pristine copy of the September 1949 issue of Incredible Adventure containing the F. Bob Goddard's The Master of Dreams, said to be signed by the author, allegedly the only such copy in existence. Tara arrives silently at the cubicle. Elliot listens on the phone, his back to her. No, you didn't actually say allegedly, but Goddard is not known to have signed pulp magazine copies, and without the provenance, it comes down to whose handwriting expert you believe. I can't go over 5,000. Tara clears her throat. Elliot sees her over his shoulder and swings his feet off the desk. I'll have to get back to you. So this is why you don't return calls? Elliot hangs up and swivels towards her. And you are? Someone who wants to know why you're gold-bricking on a government nickel. Elliot's jaw goes slack and his lips part. Then his mouth gapes and his eyes widen in horror. You can't be Chris Applethwaite. Tara smiles with touch of malice. I see you're not on the very best of terms with your boss. Never met her either. Or, or him. Hope I never do. Tara shuts her eyes briefly. Whatever. I'm Tara Travis, aide to Bull Wheeler. Elliot's head tilts and his brow furrows in non-recognition. Bull Wheeler? The congressman from Wyoming? The congressman. Tara sighs and her eyes roll. Yes. Wyoming has a single congressman. His district is the entire state. I hear he doesn't stay single for long. Tara blushes and has been struck momentarily speechless. Then she rushes to business. I need you to come to Laramie with me, right now. There's a sound of stifled choking. Behind the cubicle wall, Nebraska suppresses a laugh by clapping his hand over his own mouth. Delaware, back now and in the corridor, openly gaping at Tara, bites his cheek to the same end. Elliot's lips press together and turn down in mock pity. Why would I even consider that? Maybe because you're supposed to be the liaison between the state of Wyoming and the executive branch? But I am. I, I have a system. A system? Incoming calls go to voicemail. My voicemail says to email me. One of Tara's hands goes to her hip. Email from Wyoming is automatically forwarded to Director Applethwaite. Email from the executive branch is forwarded to my Wyoming listserv. Delaware and Nebraska smile in open admiration. Tara shakes her head. Both hands are on her hips now. Leaving you free to spend full time on what? F. Bob Goddard? Worked out the system my first day on the job. Most of the rest of the states use it now too. This is why I get emails wanting to know why you missed meetings. And I suppose you have some higher moral calling? I like to think so. Like cleaning up after Representative Big Him who cannot keep his fly unzipped? You've got to believe in something. Elliot makes a little tisk of derision. That's another area where we differ. Tara squares her shoulders, visibly writing herself. Either you come with me, right now! Elliot, Nebraska, and Delaware all give patronizing smiles. 
Or, or I'm marching over to Chris Applethwaite and ratting out your precious little system scam. You would try me. She strides off, head high. Delaware stares at her butt. Elliot sits there, blinking rapidly. And pull in those eyeballs, pencil neck. Elliot's head and shoulders slump, and he rises slowly to follow. Nebraska leans out of his cubicle, catches Elliot's eye, makes a cutting throat gesture. Delaware grins and pumps his fist at a right angle near his waist. 